Andrew Long is a China strategist and joins us live from Hong Kong. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, worrying developments with these arrests, what, what do you make of them? More intimidation from Beijing? What's the story there? Well, I think the violence uh, part of it has been escalating. Uh, don't forget that the, um, the, uh, the movement started with a groundswell, widespread groundswell of uh, dissatisfaction, perhaps anger, uh, at the way that one country, two systems, seems to be tilting toward the one country, uh, and also at the way that this controversial um, extradition, extradition bill has been handled by the government, apparently um, callous to the people's concerns and demands. Uh, but then uh, this the the peaceful part. But then um, the front end of these um, protests uh, seems to be have been hijacked by militants. Uh, you can you you saw the violence on the screen. In fact, that people were throwing uh, petrol bombs uh, surrounding police stations, ransacking um, the um, previously the Legislative Council chamber, Hong Kong's Parliament, throwing hoisted um, national flags into the sea, and also defacing the national emblem uh, of Beijing's representative office. And also, you could see also the unfurling of banners um, asking for the liberation of Hong Kong. Uh, and also uh, um, calling for revolution of our times. And in fact, recently, um, a group of Hong Kong uh, students were found in Tibet unfurling these um, banners. So Beijing is extremely concerned that uh, what appeared to be a peaceful protest has now turned into a kind of sub subversive um, uh, actions involving violence and holding law and order, uh, Hong Kong's okay. law and order to ransom. What, what do you make, Andrew, of these um, troop movements? Um, the Chinese authorities, I believe, are calling them a kind of routine rotation. Meanwhile, people in the West appear to be a little bit hysterical, possibly calling it a kind of a, a precursor to something more sinister. What's your view on those movements? Well, you can see that the, the protests have been, um, as I said, there's um, been, uh, the violence has been escalating, and it's now three months. Um, and the whole city is now in chaos. And of course, if Hong Kong should burn, um, if um, a, a lost complete control, uh, there is no way that uh, Beijing would sit on its hands. And so uh, undoubtedly, the uh, paramilitary and the People's Liberation Army on the other side of the border uh, have been on high alert. And images were already uh, reported in the international media. Uh, of uh, troop movements and so on and so forth, sounding a very clear signal uh, to the militants and activists that they can't simply, you know, do what they like and 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 cause mayhem um, and holding, the, as I said, the law and order in Hong Kong to ransom. Thank you very much. We wait for the next move. A very tense situation. Thank you, as ever, to you for your analysis.